Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about SAP and its importance in clinical research. What is SAP? SAP is Statistical Analysis Plan. So, basically during the conduct of clinical studies, the statistical programmer is presented with documents prepared to support the experimental design, data collection and analysis and reporting. So, statistical analysis plan is one of these documents which is supported in clinical research. So, SAP is one of these documents and it is one of critical importance. The SAP provides the statistical programmer with relevant information and detail on the scope of planned analysis, population definitions and methodology on how prospective decisions are to be made for presenting study results. A, a key reference to the role of SAP is given in ICH guidelines E9 which says the SAP may be written as a separate document to be completed after finalizing the protocol. In this document, a more technical and detailed elaboration of the principal features stated in the protocol may be included. The plan may include detailed procedures for executing the statistical analysis of the primary and secondary variables and other data. Statistical analysis plans may also be known as data analysis plan or reporting analysis plan in some organization. Statistical programmers must develop document review skills that foster reading content, comprehensive understanding and critical review of the SAP to support programming of analysis data sets. Along with analysis, and presentation of study results. This paper provides insight on best practice and training methods for statistical programmers on how to review SAPs. So now, what is the purpose of statistical analysis plan? The statistical analysis plan describes the plan statistical analysis of a class clinical study as outlined in the protocol. In contrast to the protocol which outlines the analysis, the SAP is a technical document which describes the statistical techniques for study analysis in detail. The SAP defines all the statistical output which will be included in the clinical study report. Shell tables and figures and sometimes listing are usually attached to the SAP, although they should not be formally part of the SAP. The SAP and the annotated CRF are the documents which are most often used by statistical programmers to create their deliverables. Now, we will talk about different types of SAP. In general, there are four different types of statistical analysis plan. Number one, statistical analysis plan for clinical study. Second, interim statistical analysis plan. Third, data monitoring committee statistical analysis plan. Fourth, integrated statistical analysis plan. In statistical analysis for plan for clinical studies. It basically describes the planned statistical analysis of a study. Uh, the second one, interim statistical analysis plan, describes the planned statistical analysis of an interim analysis for a study and therefore needs to address handling of partial and blinded issues in case of blinded studies. It also describes in all the possible impacts on the conduct and the complete final analysis like the possible adjustment of significance level. Number three, data monitoring committee. It is basically the modification of the second one that is interim statistical analysis plan. 
so it is used for dmcs that is data monitoring committee and describes regular data monitoring procedures for safety and efficacy questions the dm the dmc sap also contains the dmc charter which clarifies exactly the names and responsibility of the parties which are involved in the clinical trials number 4 integrated statistical analysis plan it describes the plan analysis for an integrated analysis which is used for example in submission it defines the detail of programming output for an iss and iec usually in one document now in the following the reader should keep the sap for a clinical study in mind the described methods can be easily adopted for the other documents as well usually the sap is written by a trial or project statistician by using a template in most pharmaceutical companies the sap will be written according to an available template which contains a standardized structure and which usually must not be changed at the highest section level in general the sap should give more details about the planned statistical analysis than the protocol at least the following content should be included in the sap now what are those contents that is brief description of the study and purpose for example description of conduct details which are important for analysis study objects and variables second statistical methods to be used example summary statistics of subject data data means means all the standard deviation extreme values counts with corresponding percentages statistical test that is analysis of variance t test etc description of analysis population for example safety set per protocol set full analysis set data handling rules for example imputation rules a logarithm for derivative variables next complete tables of contents with all tfls to be produced by the statistical programmer as attachment to the sap text that is not as an appendix or in other formal and official part of the sap shall t tfls to be produced by the statistical programmer to define the layout of the tfls as attachment of the sap text that is not as an appendix or any other formal and official part of the sap according to the ich guideline e9 the statistical analysis is planned a pylori therefore the clinical trial statistician needs to ensure that the sap is carefully reviewed and approved prior to unblinding of the study for open label studies the sap should be reviewed and approved prior to database log approval the sap is a document which is submitted to regulatory authorities as a part of submission package the sap is also part of the appendix of a clinical study report therefore the sap is critical important for documentation all the planned statistical analysis the sap is also stored in the trial master file and it is used during audits to check if statistical programming followed exactly the descriptions in the sap the sap is meant to stand alone document beside the technical statistical details it should contain brief description and summaries of the protocol it should not only refer to the protocol mm. sap is an important file in the following areas and what are those areas consistency with study protocol and study description and purpose definition of analysis population data handling rules appropriateness of described analysis for study transferability of statistical methods into sas code consistency between sap text and tfl shells 
use of standard TFL shells. Hope you understood about today's presentation that is statistical analysis plan. Thank you.